Hey now, it's The Rob from 1061 KISS FM alongside my broadcast colleague. Hey, it's Eric Cornish with WKDQ. Welcome to the Monday edition of the Enhancement Talent. Two-parter today, part two, just me and a challenge. This, this is, I've, I've <laughs> seen what's about to happen in part two, and this is pretty epic. I'm excited to see what can come of it. I won't spoil, but you should definitely stick around and watch part two, especially if you are a fan or somehow involved in local wrestling. Absolutely. But in the meantime, we're going to talk WWE. We're going to talk uh, the big time. And since, uh, you know, we just got done with the biggest party of the summer and, and SummerSlam being the tent pole, um, you know, big pay-per-views of the year, mm -hmm. uh, we decided we're going to talk WrestleMania because people are already thinking about WrestleMania. You know the behind-the-scenes folks are thinking about it. So we're going to give you some of the marquee matches we think mm -hmm will be a part of WrestleMania based on what's going on right now. So I heard an interview with Shane McMahon. I've mentioned this before that uh, someone asked him, how far in advance do you know where your storylines are going? And Shane's response was that we booked from WrestleMania to WrestleMania. Yeah. And so I believe that they have some sort of idea. Uh, of course, those are close to the chest, but I've got a few ideas of places where I think that they're going. All right. Well, you want to throw me one of your matches you think sure. could be? Sure. Uh, I, I have three that I feel pretty good about, and then I have two bonus ones if you want them. Okay. Uh, the first one, I, I feel like the no-brainer, if I had to place a bet on a match that will happen at WrestleMania 32 now, or is it 31? 31. 31, I apologize. Are we in San Francisco for 31? Yes, yeah. I'm going to say one of the matches will be Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns. All right. Your thoughts? Uh, my thoughts, I, I think I, we're going to go back to last week's episode where I think, yes, that's the plan right now. Mm -hmm. Do I think that will happen? No, I don't <laughs> think that will happen. Um, okay. I think uh, I'm going to go with uh, Brock Lesnar versus Daniel Bryan um, in the main event for the, the WWE World Heavyweight title. Um, and only because, as we said last week, uh, I believe that Roman Reigns is going to hit that Batista effect sooner than later, uh, and people will start to turn against him. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing for Roman Reigns. I just don't think it'll be his turn yet a at the title. A couple of things. Does it make me a bad person if I want him to have that Batista effect? <laughs> no, because, not necessarily. Because I've never seen what everyone sees in this guy. Yeah. And so, so that bothers me. And I will say this. Uh, the third match I had, even though it was kind of cheating, I had Brock versus Bryan. Okay. So that's my backup plan for that okay. match. And I would much rather see that match, personally. Right. But uh, I think that Daniel Bryan could also really benefit from a win over Brock, the same way Roman Reigns could. Yeah, absolutely. I, I just think by, by the time that rolls around with Daniel Bryan coming back, having all the heat from, you know, that, that all stars do when they come back, that huge, you know, excitement. And he's going to come back so but close to WrestleMania that that's, that's... The big thing, though, is he went away looking like a wimp. And he could use a win over a beast. Right. Really I could agree. use that win. I so, agree. I agree. Uh, who's up? Do you want me to go or do you want um, to go? I've got one I want to throw out there because it's one that people talked about for a long time. It's one everybody wanted to see last year and nobody saw. And now that uh, things happen the way they did last year, uh, people don't know if they're going to see. And that is The Undertaker versus Sting. That's my other one. I think that match will happen now. And remember last year when I said... I wasn't excited about seeing this match. I did not want to see this match. I did not want Sting to be a part of this streak storyline. And now he doesn't have to be. It's, uh, you know, everybody thinks that the taker's done. I don't. I think that match will happen. And I think it would be a perfect opportunity to put Undertaker back in the ring before WrestleMania, maybe Royal Rumble, against Brock Lesnar. Um, you know, because he, he wants to avenge the loss at WrestleMania. Okay. He wants to go for the title. Brock looks strong again, beats The Undertaker. And shortly after that, well, you have The Undertaker saying, okay, well, maybe I am done, but not until Sting comes back and says, no, not until you face me. Maybe it's a double retirement match. Both of them go in the Hall of Fame. I think it's a great story, and it would sell that pay-per-view. I think that that would be a great idea. That's one of my matches that I have listed on my predictions. Uh, Sting versus anybody at WrestleMania 31 will be exciting. Uh, the Undertaker will bring a different level of excitement to it, and you're right. The fact that he's no longer undefeated at WrestleMania makes this match much more interesting to me. Yeah, uh, I feel like it can go either way now, now that we've gotten over that hurdle, which was why I hated that streak to begin with. I never liked that streak. I'm glad it ended the way that it did. And uh, now I'm more excited for every Undertaker match at WrestleMania. You know, So sure. I'm excited about that. So we've gotten my big three. I had okay. Brock versus Reigns, I had Undertaker versus Sting, and I had Brock versus Bryan. Okay. I feel like a lot of those are kind of like the ones that people are talking about. Ones that I'm not hearing people talk about, uh, 
Triple H and Orton. Okay. I could see sure. I could see that going somewhere. Thoughts? Yeah, I you know what? I hadn't thought about it, but you got to think Triple H is going to be back in, you know, in yes. the hunt and back at WrestleMania. He's the Undertaker. Point. He wrestles yeah, at WrestleMania. That's true. Um, you know, I I think that could work. Who who would you plan on being the heel in that? Uh Triple H, I think. You think so? Yeah, I think okay. one is fed up over the way he's been treated by the authority. Uh, it, may, it may come to blows I, before WrestleMania. I can see that. But to me, that feels it feels like a logical match because they're both going to be there. Right. You know, they're both going to wrestle. So sure. I would think that, and plus they've got that affection to each other from the you know the uh, sure the evolution days. Yeah. No, I, I that's a, that's a good one. I, I hadn't thought about that. Uh, as a matter of fact, I hadn't picked any either one of them to be in a certain story. So. Uh, so that makes sense. But again, this is long. This is way out. Like yeah. I, I'm not saying it's going to happen. I'm just saying I could see it happen. But it certainly could. I yeah. mean, you know, we've already got the the footprints there that could lead there. Um, I'm, I'm going to throw another one out at you, and this one this one is way off base because one of these people isn't even part of the company at this point. Okay. But what a marquee matchup this would be, considering if you would bring him to WrestleMania, it would be a big deal, and give him somebody that he can match well with. How about Kurt Angle versus oh. Cesaro? I, you had me at Kurt Angle. You throw <laughs> yeah. Cesaro in there, yeah. man. If, I'll tell you, if you can get Kurt Angle at this year's show, I will be doing backflips. This is someone I want back so badly. Before like, I know he's past his prime, but before he's like burnt out, before mm-hmm. he's like totally done, I really want to see him have a few more matches in the WWE. My second favorite wrestler of all time. I would love to see that. Uh, my understanding is though, it's not looking good. Oh, really? Well, I've heard he's been trying to come back and talking to Triple H. And, I gotcha. Uh, talking to Vince, and no one really has an interest. Wow. Well, I don't I don't think it's going to be, you know, he's not going to be in a main event feud at this point in his career. Maybe later on, not at WrestleMania, though. Um, so if he does come back, I mean, that, that was the first person that came to my mind that would be an excellent match. And if it's not, let's just say, uh, you know, let's say Daniel Bryan doesn't make it in that main event match. Can you oh, imagine Kurt Angle and Daniel God. Bryan? Oh, my God, yes. My goodness. That'd be awesome. Yeah. I'll throw one more at you. Okay. Uh, I heard this kind of rumor over the weekend. Not that I, just because Hogan said something doesn't mm-hmm. mean that he's going to be wrestling, but oh. uh, someone asked him if he could wrestle somebody at WrestleMania, who would it be? Uh, I could see Cena Hogan. Maybe. That's kind of Maybe what Cena, Cena does. Hogan. I thought you were going with Brock. Oh, no way. No, I'm not, it's not, not happening. Brock. Hogan's trying to set up a feud between himself and Brock. Ain't going to happen. And not, if it does, it would be the worst matchup. Uh, well, you know, they did have matches before. I know, and it was already horrible, so now you're oh, going to add 10, know if I agree 10 or 11 years to it? They, oh. I thought their SmackDown match, uh, wow. when when Brock beat that's the match, remember, he like he took Hogan's blood and like oh, put it on his I chest. I remember that. It yeah. was actually a pretty solid match. I've watched it in the past two weeks, and uh, I watched that Brock Lesnar Blu-ray, yeah. and I got to tell you, every match on that thing is good, including that one. Just yeah. saying. And not only that, around that time, Hogan was having good matches with people like... Uh, Undertaker and Kurt Angle, also yeah. Brock Lesnar. So that wasn't a bad run for him, in my opinion. Um, so I think that is a possibility. I'm not putting money on it, right. but if you're asking me to throw out some matches, that's one of my matches. Okay, and and let me let me just throw one more. I, I hadn't prepared this originally, but you know, since we're talking about well, Roman Reigns not being in the picture, since we haven't talked about one of the hottest guys out there right now, which is Dean Ambrose. Uh, maybe either a triple threat match between former Shield members or Roman Reigns as a heel versus Dean Ambrose. As a face? As a face. All right, then. Well, those are our predictions. We would love to hear some of yours. Our emails are below. We also want to urge everyone for a few things. Number one, please subscribe to get these videos Absolutely. ASAP and get all of our uh, radio station videos sent right to you. Also, stick around for part two. Yeah. Eric has a very special announcement and a very special uh, request. Yeah, so. a challenge, if you will. So uh, make sure you tweet us. Uh, I'll be tweeting. Uh, we may both be tweeting during Raw tonight if we're watching it live. At the E Talent is how you can tweet us. And uh, thanks for joining us. Check out part two.